see if somebody has a legitimate question I'm, I'm all ears even if it disagrees with my position but if you're here to for to troll well then if whatever account you're trolling on you're going to get banned from this room it's that simple okay i'm, I'm good to continue the line of question that okay we down earlier. do you affirm the creator creation distinction that there is an ultimate absolute entity that is the creator and everything else is derived from that creator namely creation do you affirm that yeah okay good so then you believe in god yeah i mean i, I of course i do there's no reason not to well, why why was it like pulling teeth to get an answer from you about that oh uh, I, I thought i did mention that i was christian i'm a ben inwagian christian well, it took a long time. Oh, I thought I said it from the outset, but so so you still affirm the principle of sufficient reason, right? Well, it depends on how it can be formulated in different ways. Sure. So, how would you formulate it? Um, well, let's start. Let's start with the the principle of sufficient reason. Is that everything? Um, everything has an explanation of its existence, either in some ex in external cause or in terms of its own intrinsic properties. Mm -hmm. Well, everything has an explanation of its existence, mm -hmm. and that is God. Right. And God is a necessary fact, right? God just simply yeah, exists. God. All right, but it, right, but what, so what yeah, do you can mean you, by... Can you do me a favor? Stop beating around the bush and get to your point. I'm um, just interested. So you ex you accept necessitarianism then, right? Okay. Get to your point. My patience is wearing out with you. How do you hold necessitarianism and free will in conjunction? Um, because the God of the Bible's existence is not incompatible or inconsistent with him creating agents who have the capacity to make some choices. But, but the choices are, so the outcomes of the choices are necessary, right? They couldn't have possibly been otherwise. God has the capacity and he instantiated agents who can make some free choices. But you accepted necessitarianism. Yeah, dude, this is your last warning. Okay. You're about to be banished from. Okay. I guess I, okay. just, I, I guess gave I you a direct. I gave you a direct and clear answer. Right, but so if you think all facts are necessary facts, how can it be the case that there was a possibility of otherwise? One thing I don't stomach is when somebody actually lies to me about what they really believe. And he was putting up a, a big act, okay, that he was a Christian. And he was had a, a quite a bit of pattern of deceptiveness. And so he was warned several times about being truthful, right? 